Matthews holds it, sends it across. Drive, and that one might have caught a piece of the pad of Wells. Rebound is put in. Jesse Farabee gets Canton on the board, a power play goal, and we are tied at one goal apiece. So just a few seconds, eight seconds tick off of that power play, and Cable, Canton is able to convert as Farabee picks up his seventh goal of the season, the team leader in goals. Dahl, those two will collide and end up behind the net. It's up for grab center on the wall. Pierre Heller is there, he takes a shot, and a save was made by Wells, rebound put in. With 4.25 left, in the first period, looked like Brendan McCormick was there to tip it in, and the Kangaroos take a 2-1 lead. Tenth shot of the period for Canton, and McCormick is able to send it home, his second goal of the season for the freshman forward, and it's 2-1 Kangaroos here. Long pass out, this one banked off the wall, Rutledge is there charging for it. Here's a chance for Canton in front, another shot, and they score! Max Rutledge banks one in. Puck came loose for a second. He got the shot off and is able to send it in, and the Kangaroos extend their lead. It is now 3-1. Three, three unanswered goals for Canton here in Plattsburgh. Max Rutledge picks up his fifth goal of the season, so Canton's goal scorers are doing their work tonight as Farabee had one earlier for his seventh, and now Rutledge collects his fifth. So... Behind the net, this one banked off the boards. Dahl is there. Chance wrap around in front. They score. Max Rutledge gets his second of the night, and Canton re-extends their lead. They have a two-goal lead once again. This time it's four to two. So Canton at one point had three unanswered goals. Plattsburgh got one back, but Canton back in front by two as Rutledge collects his second goal of the night. 